good morning students <coughs> in today's session we have discussed uh, the centripetal force and how to analyze the circular motion by using the circular motion how we can analyze by using the newton's force that is what last video we have gone through and i believe that you have practiced the example 3.22 and 3.23 uh, and uh, today we are having a new session that is for vehicle on a level road it is very very important uh, to know about some conditions you know this uh, when we are traveling on a road by using our own car and all you know some places some curves will be some curves will be there but there is a level road horizontal curves when we are passing through these curves some places it is written safe speed so for example 40 feet per second so 40 is the maximum speed you have to use in that car that is the safe speed for you to drive through that road that is what we call on the level road but uh, some of our people they will not follow this safe speed at all they will go instead of 40 they will go 80 so the vehicle will start to skid so this is what we are going to study in this topic so assume that our vehicle is moving in a circular leveled road circular leveled road so when it is moving in a curved 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 road circular road or curved road when it is moving in a curved road there must be some centripetal force which is acting towards center of this curve so you see here you can see on curve like this uh, when this vehicle moves this curve there must be some centripetal force which is acting like this so this centripetal force is provided by from where this centripetal force is provided by the frictional force the static friction between the road surface of the road and the tire this static friction provide the enough centripetal force for this object for this car to move in a circular road or curve road so you can consider the vehicle of mass m which is moving in a velocity v and the radius of the track is r then when it moves there are some forces which is acting on this what are the forces acting on this when the vehicle moves on a circular road there is a downward force there is a upward force so downward force is what are mg mg means what are gravitational force so the gravitational force which is acting downward mg force all is there must be a gravitational force any object which is moving or in it rest there must be some there is a gravitational force so gravitational force mg is acting downward from this vehicle so to balance this there must be what a normal force which is acting upward so in the case of curved road won't be safe but if it is a horizontal level some road you can see it like this landing there the normal force will and the gravitational force won't be safe so the, this is what are there are some forces which is acting on this vehicle one other forces normal force which is acting upward gravitational force which is acting downward and the what a static friction frictional force which is acting between the tire and the surface of the road 
and these frictional force provide water centripetal force now listen here so this is what a uh, case of a uh, vehicle which is moving in a circular road suppose assume that uh, when this vehicle moving in a horizontal level or horizontal level so horizontal level road suppose the road is horizontal but what a uh, when this car is moving during this moment what will happen a uh, forward force and downward force what are these upward force normal force and the downward force which is acting what on equal and the opposite direction is what to fix vehicle which is moving in the curved road three forces acting gravitational force normal force and the frictional force gravitational which is acting downward a forward force normal force which is acting upward and the, there is a frictional force between this tire and road Which provide the enough centripetal force. And the next case is assume that the uh, suppose the road is horizontal. Road is horizontal means then the normal force which is acting upward and the gravitational force which is acting downward, which will be equal and opposite. This will be equal and the opposite so during this case also the centripetal force is provided by provided by who oh, centripetal force is provided by the static friction f s static friction between the what are surface of the road and the tire so during this case uh, we can write uh, f s is Less than or equal to mu s m g. The coefficient of static friction must maybe change from what now? Zero to any value. Zero to any value, it will change. That's so what. Uh, this is what the coefficient of static friction. F s is less than or equal to mu s m g. So there is a condition. There are two condition. The vehicle. You can move on this road uh, safely. So if you are using this speed which is given on the road side, uh, safely you can move on that road. Based on a condition. The first condition is first condition is F S is less than or equal to mu S M G. Here. Yeah. What is this F S? Friction force. Here, static friction is equal to what? M V square by R. Because the static friction provides what? Static friction provides the centripetal force. Centripetal force. M V square by R. So you can write this condition. M V square by R. Less than or equal to mu s m c. This is for the first condition. You can see in page number one fifty one. It is very very important three mark question. Previous one is exam they asked. It is a <coughs> question is like this. Conditions for safe tank. Conditions for Condition for say conditions for safe tank on a way level the road. Conditions for what are conditions for safe tank on a level the road. And the sir another question is condition for skidding. So what is the condition for skidding? What is the condition for safe tank? This is the condition we are using for safe tank. What condition? Frictional force is less than what force? Of? Gravitational force. So the frictional force, the static friction providing the centripetal force, that is what m v square by r. So this m v square by r should be less than or equal to the gravitational force. 
So this is called the condition. So the friction angle, what you want? This force should be less than or equal to. Otherwise, what will happen? The vehicle start to skid down. For safe time, you have to use this static friction. Will be what? Less than this gravitational force. So <coughs> then you can move the vehicle on that road safely. This is a condition for safe time. Or you can use the same condition like this. M V square by R. Less than or equal to mu s mu s m g m m cancel v square by r less than or equal to mu s g. From this you can write a v square by r. This g you take down r g less than or equal to mu s. So mu s you can write a Greater than or equal to e square by r g. Just the opposite we are writing. So <coughs> this is the condition. Or you can use another condition. What are v? From this equation, v square. V square. So mu s. This r g take upside down. R g. V square. These are the three conditions. With the vehicle, we can move what are move the vehicle in a safe manner. So here, in this condition, the static friction between the tire and the rod provides the enough centripetal force. So you can move your vehicle. You can turn the vehicle safely. So this is a condition. The first is the term of equal to mu s m g. The first means what? The centripetal static friction provides a centripetal force. So m v square by r we can write. M v square by r is less than or equal to mu s m g. From this same equation, you can write another condition for the cancel m m mass. <coughs> Then m square by r less than or equal to mu s g. Now take this g down, so v square by r g is there or equal to mu s. From this, mu s is just opposite we are writing. Greater than or equal to greater than or equal to v square by r g. And the next one is another condition. You can write the same equation r g you take here and write. This is for what? The, the maximum speed of this can be. Use for safe time, and this is for condition for what? Skipping. Yes, yes is greater than mu yes and g. So listen here. In this condition, this condition, the first means for what? The first means m v square by r. So m v square by r. Greater than or equal to mu s m g, not equal to greater than. Okay. So this is a condition for what? Skipping. What condition? So you see, this centripetal force is greater than gravitational force. The centripetal force. The centripetal force is provided by the frictional force. The centripetal force is greater than what the coefficient of static friction. That is what coefficient of static friction. Here are so centripetal force is more. So how this frictional force can provide the enough centripetal force? So in this condition. The static friction cannot be able to provide the enough centripetal force for safe time. Now the vehicle start to skid. These two condition, these two condition, you have to learn. This is a three mark question, very very important question. Last uh, year, on exam, they asked this question. Condition four, 
uh, the safe tank and the, the vehicle is for skidding. So these are the two condition. Okay, remember that uh, uh, in both the case, both the case for the, the centripetal force is provided by the coefficient of static friction. Here the coefficient of static friction is what uh, more. That means the centripetal force is less than coefficient of static. So if it is less, it can be able to provide the what uh, enough centripetal force for the safe tank. Now the vehicle wants kit uh, for safe tank. We are using this condition. At the same time. <coughs> This FS, FS means what? Ah, uh, the centripetal force in V square by R, which is greater than the coefficient of static friction, then it want to be able to provide the enough centripetal force so the vehicle start to skid. So based on this condition, there is an example 3.24. Consider a circular road of radius 10 meter and coefficient of static friction 0.1. So three cars A, B, and C traveling with the speed of 7, 8, and 10 meter respectively, which car will speed up and it moves in a circular road. <coughs> so based on this condition, you can solve that problem. It is a, one of the important problems. Now, the next topic is banking on trucks. Banking on trucks. <laughs> banking on trucks means what? Huh? Banking. What you are doing in our daily life? Banking. It is not like this. Banking on track. Huh? This is what I said. The physics is very much interested because in our daily life, what are the things happening? We are studying the inner happening, which is happening inside. All what are about uh, the matter and its interaction we are studying in physics. This is what you see banging on track. Maybe some of them don't know what is this banging on track. But as a physics student, you should know. What is banging on track? So banging on track means, you know, sometimes some, we know in our place, uh, most of the places there will be many cows, then what are circular roads, and uh, this type of road, what are slanting roads, circular as well as slanting. You can see some places when we travel, Road should be circular as well as some slant or slanting like this. So circular as well as slanting. These places, it is we are assuming that it is a dangerous place for to travel, and uh, there must be some indication before this road. Dangerous car ahead, like the indication something. It means. So you have to move with the, the speed which is provided by the board. Some curves and now they will be returned. Maximum speed 40 meter per second or maximum speed 25. So you have to travel in that road with a speed of 25 meter per second. If you are moving the road uh, more than 25 seconds, uh, it is dangerous for you. That's what accidents happen. Sometimes moving in very slow. You can see some of the <coughs> uh, people which is traveling very less speed also falls during this water. When they travel this circular road. Why? Why this is happening? Because there is a fixed speed, 25 meter per second. That is the safe speed you have to move in that road. So that is what we are saying, banking on track. Because the road is constructed like that. The outer edge is little raised than the inner edge. You can see like this. So this is the inner edge. 
the inner edge is lowered and outer edge is raised the outer edge of the road is raised then the inner edge of the road that is what we are saying banking on tracks what are banking on tracks so this is what why why this they made it like this some some cows they are making like this means what uh, to avoid uh, skidding the banging of the banging on tracks uh, banging on tracks means what uh, the outer edge of the road is raised the uh, that the lowers from what uh, then we can avoid uh, skid and uh, the angle between this what uh, when this doing this uh, banging of banging on track so there is an angle producing between this road uh, and the uh, tire that is what we are saying angle of inclination or banging of angle we are saying understand that so banging of track means what uh, the outer edge of the road is raised uh, then the in the edge of the road that is what are banging on track and the banging angle what are uh, the angle between this there is an angle producing that is what we are saying angle of inclination or banging of banking angle we are saying banking angle now assume that uh, a vehicle is moving on a track uh, so there are some forces acting on this upward force normal force downward force gravitational force so gravitational force which is acting downward uh, and perpendicular to this or the normal force which is acting upward uh, now there is an angle producing between this normal force and the order this suffers so this normal force is splitting into two components so the normal force can be resolved into two component of n cos theta and the n sin theta due to this banking angle so normal force split into can resolving into two component n cos theta and n sin theta here n cos theta n cos theta is to balance the gravitational force so n cos theta is used to balance the gravitational force you can keep it equation 1 n cos theta forward uh, to balance the gravitational force now n sin theta what is this n sin theta yes n sin theta means what uh, it provide it provide what uh, the centripetal force so the sin sin theta provides the inner centripetal force so you can write uh, n sin theta equal to m v square by r this you can keep it as this you can keep it as equation 2 so do banging of drag uh, this is a small derivation only remember this thing when this way you can move there is an angle producing that is what the banging angle due to this angle the normal force which is resolving into two component n cos theta and n sin theta what is the use of n cos theta n cos theta is to balance gravitational force and the n sin theta which provides the enough centripetal force <coughs> now we have two equation in cos theta equal to mg and sin theta equal to mv square by r now divide divide 2 by 1 divide equation 2 by 1 so what will you get m sin theta by m cos theta equal to m v square by r all divided by mg 
M M cancel. So M M cancel. Sin theta by cos theta is tan theta equal to v square by R B. Now V you can find V means what? The velocity, the speed. So V square equal to R G tan theta. So V is equal to root R G tan theta. So V is equal to root of R G tan theta. This is what a banging of side. So it is calculated. How much R means what? The radius of curvature of the road. How much it is elevated? That is what calculation. So you can calculate the angle, angle and the angle, the banging angle, banging angle, the angle between the vertical road and the tire. So and the radius of the track. By calculating these two values, you can identify the speed v. You can calculate the value of the speed which the vehicle can move on that road. There is what in that road it is written 25 meter per second. Simply it is not written. So if they are writing 25 kilometer speed, 25 means you have to move in that 25. Sometimes you will come very fast, some uh, 90. So 90 meter per second speed you are coming, the same 90 meter per second speed you are moving in that track means your vehicle will get a skid. So to avoid skid, uh, because what are, uh, here the centripetal force is provided by the static friction between the tire and the surface of the road. So, if you are more than that speed, more than the speed which is calculated already, then the frictional force can't, frictional force cannot provide the enough centripetal force, so the vehicle will skip. Here, yeah, the frictional force is getting more less than the centripetal force. Understand that. So sometimes you are moving very slowly. So you can see, suppose you are moving more than the speed which is calculated for safe time. For example, I am saying 25 meter per second it is written, you are moving in a 90 meter per second, but your vehicle will skid outward. Your vehicle will skid outward and you will fall somewhere. Sometimes you are moving with the very less speed, like a Grundy and all. The time there is a chance to fall in work. So this is what our banging of track up and down. You can see in page number 152, banging of track up. Derivation, you see, n cos theta is equal to mg. What is this n cos theta? Yeah, the normal force which is the solving into two components of n cos theta and n sin theta. n cos theta provide order. n cos theta is to balance the gravitational force. n cos theta equal to water mg and n sin theta is equal to mv square by r. That is order. n sin theta are the frictional force which is providing the centripetal force. So, the centripetal force is provided by this n sin theta, it is what mv square by r, then divide equation 2 by 1. When we are dividing n and cancel, m on cancel, so sin theta by cos theta tan theta v square by r will come here rg. Then we can calculate the speed which we can use in the track. How much speed you have to travel in that track? That is what the Rg tan theta. <coughs> so, my dear students, tomorrow your homework is example 3.24, page number 151, and example 3.24.
3.25 by using the this formula and the this formula and it is very very important the, in today's session this question is very very important the three mark question conditions for safe time and the skipping then banging on track this derivation also an important the three mark question which can uh, ask in what exam thank you all bye bye <coughs>